I didn't plan on making the video the way it came out. Uh, initially, it was just going to be, you know, the camera was going to be set up on a tripod, the video camera, I mean, and it was going to shoot me taking photos of Jerry, literally, like the previous portrait video I shared of, um, uh, of me taking photos of my friend Joey. And then on my way there, I thought, you know, I've known Jerry for a few years now, and I know he's a photographer and he has a story um, and he's an incredible uh, and interesting human being. And I thought it would be nice to be able to get that side of him as well in video form, along with the photos, sort of a supplement uh, to his photos. So I checked in with him as I got there and he was down for it. And, you know, that's that's how it happened. It always, it always started with me seeing something and saying, okay, well, I'm here, I want to be here, what does it take, right? Growing up in Trinidad, um, you know, I didn't have like a great job or anything like that, so I couldn't really afford to travel, but I always dreamt of it. And then I found a way, which was to work on a cruise ship, you know? So like, that's kind of like how I've always been, since I was a kid. I was literally sat on a on the coconut tree, right? <laughs> on a beach in Trinidad, right? And I was just sort of like drinking beer. This is this is like this like this is really good, you know. Like, wouldn't it be great to just like live like this? And I thought, okay, well, I'm gonna go back. I quit my job. Before coming, be, before becoming a photographer. Um, I worked as an analyst as to why photography, because it could have been anything else, right? Um, photography, for me, it, it meant freedom. So I've walked out on this job that I've spent 10 years, you know, working up to climbing the corporate ladder. Um, and um, it was hell. <laughs> I wouldn't lie to, to, to you. I, I wish I had sort of like a more um, merrier story from that point, but um, um, it was hell, but like, I'm obviously glad I did it because I'm still here now. As human beings, we are survivors, you know? We, we, we will make things happen. We just go into survivor mode and you know it kicks in and then you just like you find a way. Yeah, like I've got to I've got to make stuff happen for me. Growing up in Trinidad, um, you know, I didn't have like a great job or anything like that, so I couldn't really afford to travel. But I always dreamt of it. And then I found a way, which was to work on a cruise ship, you know. So like that's kind of like how I've always been, since I was a kid. I took a lot of rubbish rules and um, where people like, I think they, they see the desperation and the hunger inside of you and they take advantage. Um, so I did all of that. I wouldn't say I have any regrets. I wouldn't do it now, obviously, but it gave me the experience, you know, to um, one, doing those types of jobs and then two, learning different types of clients and, and approaches, right? Because people are going to try and have their way, you know? Yeah, like, I, I think if, if it's one thing I've learned is about myself even, is that saying yes is important, especially when you're learning. I'm an introvert, naturally, right? I was, I've, I've always been fascinated with people, just scared to talk to them. Like there's so many stories out there, and, but we don't talk to people, naturally. Like, but then why? We all living on this planet, sharing the same planet. It doesn't matter where you're from, what country you're from, what background you're from, but we all share in the same planet, and people just like literally walk past each other on the road. And furthermore, you'll sit next to somebody and then everyone will, well, people, like, 
they will turn the other way or just look straight ahead right they will just like ignore people in their surroundings and their environment and yeah so my my curiosity is what got me to that project so now it, it, it's extended from you know just that project but just in general in life it's it's really it's really helped me as a person um, to to just be able to talk to people, you know, like I just it's it's more it's more organic now. I've connected with people who live in the streets, you know, and people who need help, and people who's just like want someone to talk to. Or well, we wouldn't know this if we keep our heads down ourselves and then just like walk ahead. So things have been really quiet, um, to be honest, and it's been a year, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah. So since March last year, a year ago, I've had two portrait shoots, right, whereby it used to be two, two and three a week. So um, yeah, I've still had a few jobs, uh, mostly interiors. Um, I, I did some product shots for a uh, uh, flower shop <laughs> um, I did um, some pictures for garage car garage and yeah like I've done stuff that I probably would have said no to um, and I, I enjoyed it I enjoyed it I enjoyed doing those things because it was different but it was a, it was a tough year Now, long term, I'm looking at a variety of different ways to, you know, earn income in and outside of photography so that I can just spend more time enjoying, like, traveling. And in the future, I am looking at a life of working for a few months and then traveling for the rest of that time and then if i find work while i'm traveling photography work um i'll do it but if not it's okay so yeah i'm not i'm not old and i'm not saying that i'm retiring i'm just saying that i just want to I, I i really want to just live more Thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed that uh let me know in the comments um about both the video and and the photos i really enjoyed making them um and we're still in lockdown in different stages of lockdown here in the uk and we're not allowed to be inside other people's homes so we shot this video outside and that meant we were at the mercy of this garden light that kept turning off every 15 20 seconds and it was a bad sort of single light source as well so i mean this is not an excuse or anything but because it wasn't like a planned shoot we had to kind of make do with what we got um i've been sort of pushing myself to do the work and put it out there even if i don't think it's perfect and i think this video is a good example for that when it comes to the technical aspects of video you know i'm okay with putting out things that are not perfect um and that's partly how I'm going to learn and I hope you know some of you take away from this that it's okay if whatever you're making didn't turn out to be perfect. It's far better to do something, fail and learn from it than to not do anything um, because of the fear of failing. So yeah I'm, I'm really pleased that I did this um, and again like talking about photos I'm very happy with the results. Um, Elford HP 5 Plus has quickly become one of my favorite sort of film stocks that I shoot and um, yeah very happy with it and uh, Jerry being a portrait photographer himself 
I, I was able to bounce off ideas um, off of him and he gave me a bunch of tips as we were shooting so it was a learning experience no doubt um, and yeah really really happy that that this video and, and these photos came together the way they did uh, please do let me know in the comments what you think um, or just say hello it'd be nice to hear from you um, and I just really want to thank all of you that are following me so far I know it's not a lot of you know I know for those of you thinking well you've got 50 people and to me that's amazing like 55 people are looking at what I'm doing and sharing feedback and you know sort of coming along with this journey and and that means a lot to me um, so yeah thank you once again for your support um, in my videos so far please do uh, reach out to me if you have any questions or anything or if you just want to chat um, i'd be up for that thank you once again for your time and i'll see you in the next one take care bye